and we made the first winter ascent of Mount Rainier, carrying 100-pound packs on our back and skis as well. It took us about uh, eight days to get up really to the top, and then we camped up in the crater up at the top and tried out all this stuff, the sleeping bags and the, and the ski boots and certain types of food and whatnot. Skiing down with 100-pound packs on snow that suddenly turned from powder to crud and then heavy corn. we do face plants in the snow and then someone would help us pull out the other guy then we'd come on down again. But it, it was fun now that it's all over. It was the job of the Mountain Training Group, a prestigious unit of the best skiers and mountaineers, to turn mountain men into mountain soldiers. Having never had uh, mountain soldiers before, it was pretty hard to, to find uh, experienced ones, so you had to get, make the best of the, the unknown, which, which was really fun to do. They wake you up at 5 o'clock in the morning. For $21 a day, once a month. They take you for a hike without any warning. For $21 a day, once a month. They put a pack upon your back, it almost weighs a ton. You march for miles and miles and miles, oh boy, ain't you got fun. For seven days a week, they build up your physique. For $21 a day, once a month. A lot of us uh, younger, less experienced skiers learned a lot from some of the old pros. My mentor was Gordy Wren. Gordy would lead us off into the woods and we'd bushwhack down the mountain in a definitely non-military way. So uh, although we did ski in formation and so forth, we also had a lot of fun in the woods with guys like Gordy.